Hey everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at a system called Blend OS. And the way this system works is that uh, I guess we'll be on on one main system, whether it be Debian based or Fedora based or Arch based. But it gives you the option to use repositories from other systems. For example, we'll be able to install equipment from uh, or install not equipment, install applications from the Arch or install applications from App or install applications from, you know, Fedora, all on the same system and they'll all work straight out the box. So uh, the system is called Blend OS. You can see right here. And it says press start to start installing Blend OS. So it's not an installer that I recognize. So let's go through it together and see what we find. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. Region set to United States of America. Okay. Region America, zone Los Angeles. Yeah. Date and time. Set up. Main locale, additional locales. If you needed to add that, you do that here. Uh, right here, date and time. It's doing a lot of date and time, isn't it? So right here, we're gonna get in our, we're gonna insert our user information. Switch to manual partition in, don't need to. We're just gonna have it go directly to the disk. Okay, again, there's a summary. I'm gonna do legacy BIOS. I'm not sure if it has to be UEFI or, uh, let's just click next, see what happens. All right, it's installing Blend OS. Let's see what's going on. So uh, usually a process like this can take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. So for now, I'll just pause the video. And when I come back, we should be ready to reboot into Blend OS. We are logged into the system now and we are greeted by a setup welcome screen. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up uh, applications. And I'm gonna look for settings and display. That way I can set up a proper 1080p screen. Click on apply, use the configuration, and I'll close that. All right, and now we'll take a look at our welcome screen. So this is, like I said, Blend OS. I don't know if there's any numbers behind it or anything like that, like whatever version it is. It's Blend OS. Blend OS is a seamless blend of Linux distributions, Android apps, and web apps. Click on Get Started. To put it simply, get started. <laughs> right. Install popular apps such as Steam or VS Code from the software store. Create containers for Linux distributions from Blend OS settings after which you can use their apps. And right here I have the option to open the Blend OS settings. So we're gonna click on next. And web app support. If that wasn't enough, you can also install web apps from the Blend OS web store or request your favorite web apps to be added. You can either open the web store, click next, we'll click next, continue the tour. System updates. We have implemented a unique update solution that automatically downloads and applies updates on the next boot without any slowdowns or increased boot time. We good? All right, and then it says proceed to the next page. You're all set. Blend OS, your immutable operating system is ready to go. Enjoy a stable and performant computing experience.
start using Mendeley. All right, I'm still not sure what uh what it's based on at the moment. So uh, I can see that we have the XFCE desktop environment. It's pretty much the default XFCE desktop environment set up here with a panel on top and a dock on the bottom. So uh, we want to find out what it's based on. I think we can put a uh, system. Uh, let's look at the terminal first and see what. Uh, let's see. Single app. We'll do a pseudo app after we see if that works. Okay, so app's not found on here. So it's not app. So let's uh, try DNF. DNF not found. Try. Okay, it looks like it might be an arch based system. Each hmm. top is not found. Let's do a. It's a read only file system, so I guess we gotta gotta figure out one way. So let's go to internet and we'll go to Firefox. We'll open up the Blend OS uh, website. And here's our web browser. Let's do a search for Blend OS. Okay, Blender List allows you to have an immutable atomic and declarative Arch Linux system with a support from several Linux So it says here, according to it, it's based on Arch Linux. But uh, Arch, somehow the uh, TechMap repository is locked. All right, so we're based on Arch. I guess one of the things we can do is uh, take a look at the, is it the Blend OS settings? Containers. Container name Arch. Show containers present. Create one from above. Container name Arch. Container name. Pac-Man, I guess. Okay, contain create container Pac-Man. So it's creating a container for Pac-Man, I guess. But uh hey, you're going along the ride with me, so we'll see what it's like. Okay, at this point, I don't know if uh, I guess it's still going. All right, we'll just give it some time to uh keep doing what it's doing. From here. It has like a little play button. You click on it, and from here you can uh, see if this works. All right, and that's installing NeoFetch and HTOP. So let's open up just a regular terminal, see if it actually works on here. Okay, it says the command is not found. And I'll open up Pac-Man. So I guess this is how it's gonna work then. I'm gonna have to open up. Let's see what can happen. Let's do this again. There we go. We can see H top open right here. So I guess uh I mean everywhere that I've read and seen they say that the the programs open up, you know, just using a regular terminal, but 
a different software or another. So I'll try to create another uh, container and see how that works. But let me check out a Neo Fetch first. And there you have it. And on the OS right here is recognizing it as Arch Linux. Kernel 6.3.9. Reads the desktop as the XFCE. So let's go ahead and create another one. So uh, we call this one DNF. And we're going to base it off of Fedora. And boom. Same thing as before. It's going to install the, the package itself. It's going to create, I guess, a, a separate location for it. or I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work on the same one or not, but we'll see right now. All right. Seems like a container was created for a DNF, so, and it's based off of Fedora. So let's go ahead and open that. And this is the container for uh, Fedora. And let's see if HTOP works out of the box on here. Put my mouse in there. Okay, and it says HTOP command not found. So I would do a sudo dnf off top neo fetch. All right. Okay, it looks like it installed a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, let's take a look at htop. And there you have it. Zoom in a little bit. See, it's uh, htop on dnf. On Fedora. Okay, we'll take a look at NeoFetch also in here. Okay, you see right here, Fedora kernel 6.3.9, and it's still reason desktop environment as XFCE. So I'm wondering if there's a. Uh, I'm just going to create another one right here called App, and that's going to be for Debian or Ubuntu. Set it up as Ubuntu 23.04. Go ahead and install it. It'll do the installation. So once it's done doing that, we'll be back and take a look at app. All right, the container is now created for app. So we'll take a look at app. And we'll do the same thing. Check for age top right there. Go app. Okay, now HTOP is installed from my uh, app, Ubuntu version. See here, so they're all pretty much the same thing. And now let's check out Neo Fetch. And there, you see it's Ubuntu 23.04, the kernel's the same, 6.3.9. Recognizes the desktop environment as XFCE. So you can see here we have App, DNF, and Pac Man all working on the same machine. But I'm wondering, uh, let's say, like if I install GIMP, I'm going to do it off of uh, DNF. Let's see what happens. Uh, sudo DNF install. Yeah. Okay, so GIMP has been installed. So DNF, I'm just gonna check in here, check in my graphics, and it does show us it shows GIMP and it shows that as DNF. Ah, okay. Now I'm starting to see how this works. I see image magic below and it shows that it's installed under app. Okay. Wow. This is uh, pretty cool. Hmm. Yep, we have GIMP installed, and it is it's installed in DNF, but it shows up. Wow. Okay. I'm liking the way this works. This is pretty cool. I guess we could test another one. Let's say on Pac-Man. Let's say let's install. Uh, I'm saw Critter or Inkscape. Okay, so Ink 
Inkscape that's completed installing. Let's go back to the graphics. Oh, there it is. You see, we installed uh, GIMP, Image Magic. I don't even remember installing that, but that was installed at some point. And that was done through Apt. And then I just did Inkscape with Pac Man. That's Inkscape. So that's how Blend OS works. Uh, it's pretty simple. So what you would do is you'll just open up this, go into your system, and open up Blend OS settings. And then from here, you just create your containers and install away. Do as you wish with them. Yeah, it remembers the same uh, thing that I put in on the other one. Wow. I have SY, so that's actually gonna do a probably gonna do an update. Ah, it did it. Let me close this, put this back up. Settings. I'm looking for Nemo, which is a file manager. There it is. Yep. Nemo 6.0.0. .0. Okay. All right. Well, that was uh, basically all I wanted to see here for this uh, video. Um, if you guys want to see something else being done with this, uh, just uh, leave a comment below. And then uh, when I have time, I'll go ahead and uh, take a look at it. For example, we want to take a look at uh, what this associations thing is. Uh, to me, I don't know what it is. This, uh, has some options here that I'm not familiar with, like binary name. I wouldn't know what to put here, and container name. I wouldn't know what to put here. So it's something that I'll have to uh, search and do some uh, exploring on. And I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to figure out. I mean, this was pretty simple to figure out. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Just give it a name. If you want to know what architect you want to use it under, and then bam, gets it in real quick. But anyways, this was a quick and dirty look at uh, Blend OS. Just wanted to see how the container manager works. And it works well because it blends into the system pretty good. You see right here. And it also tells you what uh, system you use to install it. So that's really awesome. I mean, not that you really need that info. I mean, as long as it opens up and does what it needs to do, that's a good thing. All right. So that's going to do it for me on this video. Like I said, it was just a quick, dirty look at Blend OS. We weren't going to look at no themes or nothing like that. It was just to see about the container packages. And as we can see, it works pretty well. All right. One system, and you can install Arch, DNF, App, anything you want, all in one system. This makes it uh, very useful for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for me on this video. Like I said, leave a comment if you want to see... Uh, some other uh, features here, and I'll take a look at them. All right, and I'm out.